Hello, Iona College, Jersey Joe and Big Shot Rob here, back here with a special edition of a Relay for Life Sports Vault episode. Relay for Life, a great cause. Go out in the Heinz and check it out. A lot of cool stuff going on in there. And like I keep on saying, we're going to have this WICR and LaPend is going to be broadcasting live until 4 a.m. That is right, 4 a.m. We are dedicated to the cause. Um, Rolling along with the sports, uh, interesting story this morning that uh, Adam Silver in an interview said that the NBA was considering making changes to the playoff format, and I thought it was interesting. Uh, he said, Silver said, the league needs to consider changing the format that puts the top eight teams in each perf conference in the playoffs, and... I think obviously this is in response to what a lot of people are upset about how in the Eastern Conference there's so many l teams with losing records getting in. In the West you have nine teams who won over 40 games and it's really upsetting to a team like Memphis or Phoenix who might not get in who deserve to get in with 40 wins and I think this is kind of in a, a, to address that. So Rob let me ask you would you support a change uh, that was in this format here's the thing if you do change it right joe what are you gonna do though like are you gonna make the east play the west throughout the playoffs that's, that's the, the only part. thing you i could see going through and that's what the finals is made for so i i don't think they should make a change i think they should keep it the way it is you know it it's sad that the west has so many great teams that can win 50 games and how one, one of those teams is not going to make the playoffs either the mavericks Suns, or grizzlies and it's just a shame, but I mean, I, I don't think they should change it. It needs to stay the way it is. Well, that is a good point because that would really change up the dynamic. I mean, would you have what would you have, the Grizzlies playing like the Raptors in the first round or something like that? Like, the conferences would get all screwed up. Yeah, like, it, well, it would be what, the Spurs at the top, then the Thunder, then the Clippers, then the Heat, then the Pacers. So it would be a really weird kind of format. Unless, I mean, maybe they would do it like an NCAA-type bracket type of thing, maybe. But I, I don't know how it would work out. I mean, it, it's kind of weird. I mean, I, I think maybe he said it because of the, the, the lashing back at how the season has gone, kind of how the East has so many teams with losing records. But it's kind of like if it ain't broke, don't fix it and – I don't really know if I mean I like the way that the the playoffs is formatted. I mean we can pretty much guarantee that one of the the either one of the top four seeds is going to win it all anyway. I mean is an eight seed really going to win it? It's only happened one time, so I don't know if they really need to change it. Yeah, I I wouldn't change it whatsoever. You need to keep it the way it is. I think that's just a pure message to the East. You guys need to start winning games and get above five hundred. I think that's just what he's clearly stating by calling out how he's thinking about changing the format. Absolutely. And uh, for uh, P. Considori, a uh, big, big hockey fan, we're actually going to talk some hockey for him. So I don't know if he's listening right now, but if you are, we've got some hockey for you. And obviously, when NBA and the NHL, their playoffs kind of come together. And like I said, I, I don't really follow the NHL regular season as closely, but I there's nothing better than hockey playoffs. I mean, the speed and the intensity of the games, you have great matchups. I mean, I love playoff hockey, and I'm very excited for my Sharks, who hopefully won't disappoint me like they have so many times. But we have a couple matchups that seem like they may hold up. As of last night, it seems like the Bruins will be playing the Red Wings. That would be a phenomenal matchup. I mean, you Boston obviously last year losing to the Blackhawks, having another great year. The Red Wings just that's I love when you have matchups of the original six. The original six hockey teams, of course, Bruins and the Red Wings. I mean, that that's just a classic matchup right there. I would love to see that. Then you have the Tampa Bay Lightning scheduled to play the Montreal Canadiens. That's another interesting matchup right there between the Canadiens and the Lightning. I think that matchup would definitely make, uh, I mean, the Lightning, now that they have Callahan, the Canadiens have had a nice year. It's nice to see one of the prominent teams, the Canadiens, having a nice year again. I would look forward to that matchup. Then you have the Penguins and the Blue Jackets. I think a lot of Ranger fans would have rather played the Blue Jackets, but, I mean, the Penguins, they should easily get past the Blue Jackets. And then the Rangers and the Flyers. I mean, these teams just hate each other. Such a rivalry. Yeah, this is a rivalry game, Joe, and we know how these games go either way, Joe. This could possibly be a seven-game series because rivalry games, you don't know what to expect out of this. 
especially from a team in the same division. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think Ranger fans are going to be just happy to be in there, but um, that's going to be a tough series because the intensity when both these teams take the ice, these teams are just going to hate. I mean, the games at, at Philly's arena, I mean, those fans are just nuts. I'm the, the, uh, No disrespect to Philly fans, but Flyer fans, they're just crazy, and uh, that's going to be quite an environment. Um, in the West, though, as of right now, it's the Anaheim Ducks playing the Dallas Stars. That's a pretty good West matchup right there. Both teams, the Anaheim Ducks, had a great season. I think both those teams would put together a pretty good series. Then you have the St. Louis Blues and the Blackhawks. I love watching the Blackhawks play hockey. They just play such good team hockey. They have uh, Corey Crawford. I like him. He's a pretty good goalie. They have good offensive players. They just play a really good team hockey, and they're a lot of fun to watch. After that, you have the Colorado Avalanche and the Minnesota Wild. Pretty good matchup right there. The Wild is one of those teams that don't get a lot of recognition, but they've had very, very good seasons the last two years. And then finally, my San Jose Sharks. I mean, look, they've had a phenomenal season. Uh, guys like Joe Pavelski, they've just put together a great year. And I was really hoping that they didn't take a step back this year because after they lost to the Kings last year, there's a lot of veteran guys on here like Patrick Marleau and then Joe Thornton. So I was a little worried because those guys are definitely, I think they're they're effective, they're peak up is kind of kind of run out but they're back at it again and they're playing this los angeles kings the team that knocked them out last year and look uh you think you've got to be worried whenever you play the kings and this is a first round matchup especially for his quick joe oh. he is the best goalie he gives out me there. nightmares san jose though joe they're the team i still have them being knocked out first round uh the, i know you love them so much but yep. they're that team joe that they went they go all at it in the regular season and then just knocked out right away in the i mean playoffs. look wouldn't this be like the perfect shark setup game i mean you had this great season and you play the kings round one and look when you play jonathan quick in a scenario like this he takes his game to another intensity i mean jonathan quick is Unbelie he was unbelievable in the playoffs last year. I know that the Sharks, I thought, overall, they played, they outplayed the Kings team. But Jonathan Quick just wouldn't, wouldn't, deny, wouldn't be denied. I mean, if it wasn't for Quick, the Sharks would have won that. It was a seven-game series, and Jonathan Quick was just so incredible. I mean, whenever you play him, in the, in the especially in this first round, I think you got to be worried. But I'm pulling for my Sharks there. Um, that is going to wrap it up for everything we have on the hockey front, though. Of course, hopefully Pistol Pete Considori enjoyed that segment. And when we come back, we're going to be throwing everything at you, everything that we have left. And this has been really fun. Again, Relay for Life, and stay with us.